process will detail the usage of folate and cobalamin or vitamin B12 in the homocysteine methylene cycle. To begin, folate must be first converted into tetrahydrofolate through a complicated series of biochemical reactions, which I won't cover here. But then tetrahydrofolate needs to be rearranged um, with the action of glycine and serine and the enzyme serine dehydroxymethyltransferase that uses PLP as a cofactor, or vitamin B6, into 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate. Now, 5,10-methylene tetrahydrofolate is also useful in the nucleic acid synthesis cycle, which is important for DNA and ribose um, and RNA construction. But then, in the homocysteine methionine cycle, it needs to be rearranged again by um, the enzyme methylene tetrahydrofolate reductase and um, an FAD into 5-methyl tetrahydrofolate. Now the um, methyl group then will be moved around um, with the assistance of cobalamin or vitamin B12 and here if there isn't enough vitamin B12, this is where the methyl trap of folate occurs. The methyl group must be moved. Um, however, if there's not enough vitamin B12, um, it can't be moved, and the cycle stops here. But moving on, um, so in this case, we do have enough vitamin B12, and they will... Um, combine to regenerate um, tetrahydrofolate and also create methylcobalamin. So the methyl group moves from the tetrahydrofolate to the cobalamin. The, cobal the methylcobalamin then um, is combined with homocysteine to recycle it to methionine through the action of the enzyme methionine synthase, which will produce a methionine and also recycle uh, the cobalamin. The methionine then is used by the body through a series of reactions um, uh, and the enzyme methionine adenosyl transferase and 1 ATP and adenine group is added to the methionine and because of that, the phosphate groups of the triphosphate are left um, to be recycled again. So SAM represents S-adenosine methionine, and it is here um, in the reaction between SAM and um, S-adenosine L-homocysteine that the methyl group is broken off and um, removed and taken away by a methyl receptor, which can be any number of compounds. Then um, we're left with, uh, like I said, S-adenosine L-homocysteine, or SHA, which is then converted into homocysteine by um, the action and production of a water into an adenosine. So by this process, we've recycled homocysteine. Homocysteine is an independent marker for cardiovascular disease, and so its recycling from homocysteine into methionine is important, and this process requires both folate and vitamin B12 in the form of cobalamin.